animal what is it oh good one just fucking rah. is that is that why why tiger's your favorite just because like that uh i asked her, another girl on the show recently i said what's your favorite animal and she said oh it's a kangaroo i'm like that's cool like why do you love kangaroos so much and she goes oh i love them um because they can self-terminate their own pregnancies What? <laughs> like, that's cool, right? But I don't know if I'd put that at the top of my list of why I loved an animal, right? Uh, apparently it's true, though. Apparently, um, like, if the environment's not right, um, like if there's a drought on or something, then the kangaroo can look around and go, oh, sorry, Skippy, it's not happening. Um, my favourite animal, uh, I'm sure you're dying to know, it's a crocodile, right? I fucking love crocodiles, like, heaps. Like, a lot, right? Like... And so friends go, oh, Jordan, why do you love crocodiles so much? I'm like, okay, here's why, right? I love them because they're so unevolved, right, that if you had one as a pet, I don't recommend it, right, but if you did, right, you had one as a pet, put it in your backyard, maybe you got an old spa bath, put some heat lamps in it, uh, and then you fed it every day, right? Actually, don't feed it every day. It doesn't need to be fed that much, right? But you feed it as often as it needs, right? You know, and every day you show it nothing but love and attention, right? If it gets the opportunity to eat you, it fucking will. <laughs> like, how awesome is that? That's like fully living on the edge. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, imagine that waking up every morning just going, oh, could get eaten today. Oh, who knows? You know, that's, you know, because that emotion of fear and excitement are really close to each other. So it's a, you know, oh, imagine, oh, you know. Okay, it's the same reason why I love women so much. Um, <laughs> except the opposite. Uh, I just live in fear every day that I won't get eaten. Um, <laughs> So I've been doing a lot of growing up recently, a lot of growing up. Uh, like, for example, I now change the sheets on my bed rather than just vacuuming the sheets on my bed. <laughs> it helps. Um, got my finances in order. It was good. Uh, I um, had to do my tax recently, right? I had to do the tax for the last two years, right? Uh, now, I don't want to brag, right, but my taxable income for 2009 and 2010 was just over $8,000. Um, <laughs> Like I said, don't want to brag. Um, but, I, you know, my accountant was looking at it, right? Um, that's right, I've got an accountant. Um, <laughs> she's looking at it just going, how? Like, how did you live? How did you survive on $8,000? And I was like, well, I had friends that lived... Um, or they owned a pub, so... And they gave me a room upstairs. So I lived above a pub. And literally, it was just a room, right? There was no kitchen or anything like that. So for food, I just had a lot of pita bread and banana. Um, but then there was a cyclone, so... I just had a lot of pita bread, um, <laughs> you know, but I actually eat a lot better now. Um, you know, I eat three meals a day. I used to eat just like one meal a day and think, oh, that'll keep the weight down. That'll keep it down. I'll I'm only eating one. That, that'll keep it down. It doesn't. You know, what? when that happens, you eat one meal a day and then your body goes, guys, we have no idea when we're getting this again. Everyone put it into storage, right? We'd, we've got enough to spare. Put it into storage, right? So anyway, I eat a lot better. I, you know, a balanced diet. I've also started exercising. I, um, I started running. I don't know if you guys um, have heard of this. Um, there's an app, this running app you can get on your phone, like where you put headphones in, right? And you listen to music and then a voice comes through and goes, walk. Right? And then you walk and then another voice comes through and goes, run, and then you run. And then another one goes, sit on the couch and eat a packet of Doritos. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's coming through my headphones though, to be honest. Um, but the first day I did it, I ran for like 45 seconds, right? You have to run, like the first day, you only run for like 45 seconds. So I did that and then I threw up on someone's front lawn. Um, <laughs> I did that like four times, right? Um, not once, like I would walk and then I would run, and then I would throw up on someone else's front lawn. Um, so it was like every fourth house I was throwing up on someone's front lawn. But I kept at it, you know, I kept at it, I kept running. Uh, I also joined a gym. And as a result of, you know, just regular exercise and a proper diet, I've, I've managed to lose about 20 kilos. Um, 20 <laughs> kilos. Thank you. Thank you. It's bullshit. Um, 
I haven't. Uh, I just plan on doing this material in about a year's time, so... <laughs> planning ahead. Um, anyway, a lot of friends have been like, oh, OK, Johnny, why, why all of a sudden have you got all your shit together? Like, what's, what's happened in your life? Why all of a sudden are you growing up? And I'm like, OK, to be perfectly honest, I, um, I got a chick pregnant, so... <laughs> just facing up to my responsibilities. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's bullshit, but uh, who cares? Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs>